So at this point, we're going to look into some more specific enumeration style scanning. Again, this is one of those scenarios where it's important to remember that this can harm systems and can be considered hacking in most arenas. So our first look is going to be at the SuperScan 4.0 from Foundstone. So I've already downloaded it, and it's a simple executable file that you double click on, and it opens up for you. So if we want to look at host and service discovery, then we can actually come in here and choose what ports we want to scan. We can do data and ICMP scans. We can specify source ports, and it's all graphically configured. So we're going to choose Send Scan, and we've basically already selected a lot of the more common ports. This list is pre-populated for you by the person or group that developed Super Scan. We can also come under Scan Options and choose the different types of scans that we want to go for, and we can add various tools in as well. We can even look for specific Windows enumeration type scanning. So we're going to go ahead and put in our IP range here. So we've got that added in, and we're going to go ahead and kick it off. So while it's going through that process, we're going to go ahead and move over to our other system and do a more detailed in-map scan. So this time, we're still going to ask for the verbosity that we were seeing before, but we're going to go into a little bit of a stealth scan, and we're also going to ask for operating system enumeration. So by specifying this information, we can be very specific. We can also add additional scan option in, such as version information identification. So we're going to go ahead and identify our network through InMap and let it go through its processes as well. And we're actually going to port that to a text file. And this is going to be the enum scan. So we can jump back over to our Windows box and see what kind of information SuperScan came back with us. So if we look at the HTML results, which is basically just a nicely formatted report SuperScan provides us, we can see that this particular system, NetBIOS name, and the associated stuff that was running on it. TCP ports, we found six. UDP ports, we found one. And there are various components of banner information that we were able to determine. And we continue to go through, and in this scenario, we were actually able to log in to this particular system using an anonymous FTP account. And we can even see the version associated with the FTP service and that it's Unix. We can see that it's an X Windows running on port 6000. So we were able to get quite a bit of information associated with this. We continue down, we can see even more NetBIOS names, and we can see that this is a Microsoft system. We can see that we're running what appears to be some type of Windows Trojan, for example, and other banners. So as you can see, we got a lot of detailed information here. We were able to fingerprint most of the individual operating systems, and even in some scenarios, we were able to identify certain versions of services and ports running on that system. So we can even see links to the associated systems here. So if we wanted to open up and look at what's running on this system, we get an error, but we're able to connect to that system over port 80 using a browser. So let's go back and see what nmap has given us. And it looks like it's still running. So we'll give it a few seconds to finish that, and then we'll go ahead and open up our enum scan file and see what we came back with. So I've refined the search a little bit, and we basically are going to just target IP132, which is a web server on the network. So let's see what we came out with. So as you can see, here's the information associated with that server, and we were able to fingerprint quite a bit of services as well as the operating system. So we can see we're running the FTP daemon 5.0, okay, which immediately tells us that we're probably on Windows version 5.0, which translates to Windows 2000. We can also see we're running MySQL, MSSQL, and various other services that lead us to believe that we're probably running a Windows box, especially based on the path of the MS Task server in the WinNT folder. 
So based on all of this, we can see that scanning and enumeration, when combined, can be an extremely useful tool to determine what systems are running on what servers on our target network.